The President and I are old friends. He's my brother. Uh, we've been a friend since his first term as Governor of Lagos State when I was a banker. And I have not seen him since the elections. I wanted to give him time to settle down. Um, so the first reason was to come and congratulate him formally. But also, I wear many caps. Uh, I wear the cap of an economist. So I came to thank him for the steps he has taken to put this economy on course. As you know, many of the issues that we have been talking about, uh, the subsidy that has caused a hemorrhage on the fiscus, the multiple exchange rate regimes, and so on, uh, these are issues that I have personally been talking about for a long time. And I'm happy that on his very first day, he has addressed these issues and the markets are happy. And it is important uh, when the government does the right thing for us to give them feedback. It's not always uh, when they do a wrong thing that you complain. So he has started on such a strong footing as far as the economy is concerned that we have to come and support and encourage uh, that we continue along that path and be advocates for the policies he has pursued. Uh, the second cap aware is that of the Horejo Tabita Pulaku, and I'm therefore concerned about the issue of uh, herdsmen farmer clashes and he's also concerned and we discussed um, steps that will need to be taken to begin to look at some of those issues but in particular um, I came to appeal to him on the case of the 37 herdsmen who were bombed by the Air Force in Nasarawa State uh, a few months ago uh, which uh, we wrote a letter to President Buhari on uh, and we have now written a reminder because it's a matter we do not want to be swept under the carpet. And um, the President has asked me again to send him that letter, and I'm sure that he will look into, into the matter. Uh, the, the third major issue we discussed was the issue of poverty, especially in northern Nigeria, the questions of out-of-school children, girl-child education, uh, and how uh, um, and, and his thoughts on that matter, and this is a big priority for him. Um, and we would be, uh, again, uh, continuing with the conversation to see how we can help with ideas for how to address these issues, because uh, without education in the North and without educating the girl child, you're not going to have um, uh, uh, an amelioration of the extreme poverty and insecurity in the North. So it's really about the economy, about the people, uh, about his policies to encourage him and to also uh, make it clear that uh, at any point in time uh, we are here uh, to advise uh, and, and he knows that and I'm just one phone call away and I'm very, very happy uh, to have seen him, to see the mindset and I wish him all the best.